Hi guys, Craig Rivers here from Rivers End Outdoors. So today's video is about trapping. And I'm going to call the video Trapping Made Easy. So come along with me and I'll uh, show you what I'm talking about and it should be fun. Okay guys, so what we got going on here is... Um, you know, you just want to collect as many traps as you can and have them around and you'll figure out how to use them as you go along. Now these rusty traps here, um, small animal traps, uh, they're not good for coyotes or anything. Um, they're, you can find them at yard sales, you can get them everywhere. I, I've, they've just been laying around all the ranches over the years that I've lived on and I've just collected them up. Now. Uh, they work real good and the cool thing about it is what I'm we're gonna trap or what I'm gonna show you or talk about is uh, these traps don't need to be cleaned up um, I know the people that trap coyotes and wolves and some of the predator animals they dye them with walnut husks and you know try to keep the rust off of them and keep them clean and keep the human smells off of them but for what I want to trap around here, what I'm going to show you guys is it doesn't really matter. They can be rusty. It, it does not matter. And um, so what I'm talking about is we've got ground squirrels here. And I mean, we've got hundreds, if not hundreds, thousands. And to be honest with you, I get tired of stepping in the holes at night and, you know, falling down and twisting my ankle and... It's just a pain in the butt. However, um, people do eat these ground squirrels. Um, I did, haven't eaten one since I was a kid, and it wasn't that great. So, But I guess if you needed a source of protein, it would work. Uh, the other thing is, is the same type of trapping I'm going to show you will work for rabbits and because um, the rabbits around here they dig holes uh, mostly they kind of like go under stacks of pallets and stacks of wood and 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 things like that and they'll dig a tunnel under there and they'll go in on in under there and live but there's uh two kinds of traps you can get these big rat traps and these funky uh spring traps or footholds and um, a lot of states these are not even legal I don't think they're legal here actually but um, used to do a lot of trapping with these when I was a kid so you know once I get into it or get into showing you guys you'll understand how easy it really is now these things you can actually trap birds with these if you put something like a piece of meat on a food pan and then lay them out and then put food all around it, you'll get a bird. You get them by the neck, but you do get them. And uh, so if you're hungry, I mean, that's something you can do. These rat traps will work good for the ground squirrels that we have. And um, don't know, you wouldn't be able to catch a rabbit with one of these, but what you want to do is drill a hole in there run a cord through there, a wire through there. Um, whenever you're doing any of this, you want to make sure you stake your traps down. The reason is, this is one that my son found out in the field and had the stake already on it. Somebody must have been trapping something out there. And um, the reason is, is if you get a hold of a critter by the foot, they'll drag the trap off. And uh, so you got to be real careful. You don't want to lose your trap. So that's why you'll find them. They've got stakes connected to them. You know, you stake them down into the ground. And uh, that's what the story is there. Now we've actually found this size here. We found a lot of them on the ranch. And uh, I think this is like the third one. And then plus there was a couple laying in the buildings around here originally. And what the story is there is back in the day there was a mink farm across the street uh the roof actually was when i first got this ranch i remember looking over there and seeing the roof the roof said mink on the roof and they had minks over there 
And I suspect what happened was they escaped and they were all over around here. Now, I don't know what, the, you know, small mink, what the problem is with a bunch of them getting loose and, you know, getting set in your, your environment around your place or whatever. I don't know, really know what they could hurt. I imagine they could get chickens or you know, small, small chickens or quail or whatever you might be raising. So I can see there could be a problem. But other than that, I don't know what the big deal was. But anyway, you find a lot of these smaller traps. And I think that's what people were doing was trying to catch the minks that escaped. And uh, it's been many years since that mink, mink farm was there. So anyway, let me uh, stop here and then I'll go show you how to uh, catch ground squirrels. Okay, so when you're setting these traps, what you want to do is put your foot on the spring. Then you want to um, lift the pan up from underneath the hoop. Otherwise, you will... Uh, You'll release it and you'll get your finger. And the best way to do it is put your do it with your fingers underneath the hoop, the, the catch, or what catches the leg. Um, and then you release your foot, and you're good to go. Uh, well, I don't know if that's a very good example, but I hope you guys can understand what I got going on here. All right, now we'll go over to the hole, and I'll show you what I got going on here. So you can see all the holes. That's all ground squirrels there. They're everywhere. Now what you want to do is you want to find a hole. So this hole here is probably not a real good one, but it, it'll work for dip what I want to do to demonstrate how to set the trap up. And um, you want to find a hole that there's no exit tunnels. There's one way in and one way out. Or you could set a couple of traps in there. Now what the deal is, is all you have to do is set this trap down in there, like so, and stake it down. Now squirrels are stupid. They'll run right over this thing and get trapped and uh, that's all you need you just want to stake your um, your chain down so they can't run off with your trap and you want to make sure that the hoops on the on the foothold um, can swing freely you know that they're not going to stick against the sidewalls or whatever of the hole and you're good to go and um, the other thing is that you want to do is uh, make sure you do this far enough away from your homestead that your your dogs and house cats or any of your animals don't get caught in. That's that's the worst thing is catching a dog in a trap, and you know with the bigger traps you could break a dog's leg with them. So you got to be real careful. Um, all righty, let me. Uh, move on and we'll talk about this a little bit more there you go guys trapping made easy um i hope my video made sense you can figure it all out um if you have any questions or comments of course put them below please like and subscribe um so anyway be careful i've got my fingers in these things more than once and it doesn't feel good and, uh, but the thing is, is you can catch some squirrels, ground squirrels, or other small critters for, uh, you know, survival if you need to. So there you go. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. This is Craig Rivers with Trapping Made Easy. Bye now.